Hey everyone, are you having sciatic nerve pain or femoral nerve pain that goes down into your leg, maybe into your foot? I'm going to show you a really simple technique that you can try to do and see if it helps to minimize that abnormal sensation or to kind of take the edge off of some of the pain that you have going on. Now before you do any of these techniques that are shown in the video, you want to make sure that your healthcare provider, your physician, etc. has cleared you to do so and it's okay for you to do. What we're going to do is we're going to take one of these blood flow restriction straps. You don't have to use one of these. You can get these online pretty inexpensive, but you can use even a towel. I've had people use pillowcases, um, even a belt that you, know, you put in your pants, all sorts of things. What we're going to do, we're going to say that my pain and abnormal sensation is going down my right leg. I'm going to put this around my thigh. All right? And I'm just going to kind of strap this on, pull it nice and snug, and leave it just like that. And then while that pressure is on there, I may just sit statically like that, or I may then go ahead and go through some uh, nerve flossing movements where I'm kicking my leg out, patting my foot up and down. So I just kind of show where you can see, you know, maybe I just pull, work on pulling my foot back, my toes back up towards me. You know, in this position, maybe I slide my leg back and forth just like that. I may do somewhere between maybe 10, 15 repetitions of that and just leave this statically on there for a few minutes. Now, obviously you want to watch out and you don't cut off your circulation too long or you don't want to keep this too tight for too long and cause some additional nerve issues. But just a little bit of pressure a lot of times will help because a lot of times if you have this pain that goes into your arm or even in your leg or anywhere, what we do as humans, right, we put pressure. So we squeeze it. It kind of makes it feel better. That's the same thing you're doing. You're trying to kind of disrupt that pain signal that's going to the brain, almost kind of confuse the brain a little bit as to what these signals are coming in so it doesn't focus so much on the pain that's coming through. So I hope this simple tip helps, guys, and thank you so much for watching.